Hello, this is Mary Nassi with IMT Realty. I'm coming to you today from Groton, Connecticut, and we're going to be talking about how to get your house ready for sale. Um, this, you, most, people, most of us, our homes are our largest investments we make. So we want to maximize the profit you can make on the sale of your property. And there's some simple ways you can do that without having to spend thousands of dollars on major renovations. One of the first things I would do is tell you to research your local market. Know what the comps are selling for. If you need to engage the help of a listing agent to do a market analysis for you. And from there, you can look at, you know, do they have updated kitchens? Do they have updated baths? What are the colors? How quick are, are um, homes selling, et cetera? Um, if you enlist the help of a listing agent, it'll give you a wealth of information. Um, doesn't marry you to that listing agent. But it's a free service that most of us offer, obviously, in the hopes of, you know, um, earning your business. So a few of the things you can do to get your house ready for sale, one of the most important things is a really deep clean. So you want to get rid of any odors, especially if we have pets, you know, if they're in the car, if you have carpets, make sure you shampoo the carpets, get the hair and the dust and any odors out that, that you can. Um, clean everything, the baseboards, make sure there's no dust, um, there's no rust. Uh, if they need to be touched up, touch them up with paint, um, but do an absolute deep clean on all your appliances, walls, etc. The second most important thing you can do is declutter. And I can't stress this enough. Most people don't have the ability when they're looking to purchase a home to look past the current owner's possessions. So there's an old saying, and I tell all of my clients this, if you question whether or not you should take something out of a room, all I could tell you is less is more. The less clutter you have in your home, the easier it's going to be for a potential buyer to envision themselves in your property. So I would say on your kitchen counters, have as little as possible. Um, I know we all live in our homes, but now this is about maximizing your profit. This is consider it more of a business. So take everything off the countertops that you absolutely can. Take the toaster off, put it off in a cabinet. Um, you know, just just try to declutter as much as possible, especially the kitchen. Um, I would also say depersonalize your home. So we all, again, live in our houses. We all have many photos of our family and children, et cetera, and friends. So I would minimize those photos. I'm not saying don't live in your house and enjoy it, but just start packing those items away. You're, you're going to be selling your house. You're going to be moving. So take the opportunity to quote unquote pre-pack and keep the mementos out that mean a great deal to you. But other than that, just go with the saying, less is more. And then I would say another item that you should definitely work on is fixing what needs to be fixed. Um, so that would mean if you have a hole in a wall, obviously, you know, patch the whole paint. Um, if you have a leaky faucet, fix it. If you have a running toilet, make sure that's addressed. If there's squeaky doors, um, fix those. Whatever you can fix to, again, um, not detract from the buyer buyer's attention and interest, fix it. Those are usually pretty inexpensive and easy fixes if you need to call a handyman. And again, if you don't have a network of vendors to tackle some of those little tasks, reach out to your lo a local listing agent. Um, they typically have contacts with handyman and different um, types of vendors on different levels. So you're not calling in a GC to necessarily fix some of the, the small items. Um, a handyman can usually address most of those. Um, Next would be paint. This, my husband has an old saying, paint makes everything it ain't. Um, paint is very important. Most of the time we walk into a home and the whole house needs to be painted. Um, that could be costly for a potential buyer. Um, and they usually want that done before they moved in. Um, because once the furniture's in, it becomes more difficult to do. So if you are able to do this yourself, paint is relatively inexpensive. If you painted a, uh, a room a dark color, um, I would paint that a more neutral base color. Today, the, the gray tones, um, light grays, white, um, even still some of the, the, the earthier tones are all very popular. Fresh paint definitely brightens up a home and it could really update a home very, very quickly. So if you have the time and the energy, um, definitely repaint your home and freshen up. Make sure all the trim is painted out. Um, change out the, the doorknobs. So 
I always suggest to clients some of the easiest, most inexpensive upgrades you could do to your home are getting rid of the old 1980s brass. So if you see the door hinges and the doorknobs, replace those with updated um, hinges and doorknobs and update your light fixtures. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but you can go to Home Depot and get relatively inexpensive light fixtures that are more contemporary and up to date and get rid of anything with brass or that looks old. Light fixtures are the jewelry of a house, as well as um, the cabinet knobs and your faucets. All of that is the jewelry of the house, which can really update a home tremendously. Even if you don't have the money to update your kitchen, if you update the knobs and the faucet and the light fixtures, it definitely get, brings an updated element to the house and it will definitely get you more money for the property. Um, you will be surprised at how much more interest you'll get when you take care of some of those little things. Um, another item would be staging the home. So if you have furniture, um, if you have a vacant home, if you have any extra furniture, you know, like a bed or an end table, et cetera, that always helps. But today we also have the ability to do what we call virtual staging. So if you don't have um, some of those items to stage your home, we actually have the ability to go in and take actually pictures off the wall. We can um, vacate an entire room of furniture, even if the all of it's in the photo and then we could put more contemporary furniture in. So that's always an option if you're not able to do that. And then I would say, think about renting a storage unit um, because as you're going through some of the prior steps of decluttering, you're gonna need some place to put the box or rent a pod, put it on your property. And this way, when you do get the offer on your house, you're gonna be ready to sell. It's gonna be a lot less stressful if you pre-packed a lot of those items that you don't use on an everyday basis. And again, just depersonalize, less is more, and good luck. If you have any questions or uh, want to reach out, feel free um, to like our video or uh, like us on Facebook, and um, I will talk to you soon. Thanks.